guys, uh, it's Brent here, and it is currently 6.38. Uh, I'm doing a small personal test to see if I can record vlogs in the morning. Uh, so the goal is this week, the rest of this week, I'm going to try to record one uh, in the morning as soon as I can brew coffee, because coffee is what's necessary. Um, just as a test, you know, to see if I can get up, get motivated, get behind the mic, you know, get some semblance of a, something going on here. I just made sure I didn't look too crazy because um, I want to put out more content. But I feel like I'm trying to put it out in the afternoons and sometimes when I get out of work or I go to the gym after work and then I come back and I'm just dead to the world. So this also gets me up. Uh, it gets me already thinking, you know, gets my brain moving in the morning. Uh, so that's kind of the idea. So I'm going to go first starting with this week, uh, seven days, and see if that's too much, you know, if or, if, you know, one a day is a good number or, you know, maybe weekdays. But uh, 6.30 might not seem very early to some people, but I don't leave till, have to leave till 8. And I've been up since about... 6.15, I had to wait for coffee to brew. Uh, so that's kind of the idea. This first one is just kind of uh, to bring you up to speed on what I'm doing. Uh, so early mornings. And then, yeah, I mean, they'll probably be pretty short. Probably be talking about what's going on day to day. Um, and this one, I think I'm going to preference with the story. Um, so currently, new apartment, been here a week. And when we got here, when we moved in, we checked our mailbox, and we couldn't get into it. Key didn't work. Um, door was like, I don't know, a quarter inch ajar, like, but it was locked. So, you know, after going to the office, telling them more than one time, you know, it took them about a week to like, till Friday. And they came out there, replaced the lock. Done in store, gave us no key. And then Saturday when we went to, we were at, went and met some new friends. We're trying to meet some new people in Raleigh, you know, since we're brand new to the area. Um, and I'm thinking we'll talk about more about them tomorrow. Uh, we had a lot of fun over the weekend. But when we we went out, I was like, oh, let me check the mail. You know, got the key, all that stuff. So I get out there, my box still won't open. And I'm like, mother truckers. Um, this mailbox, we just got it fixed. Like, you just replaced the lock. Like, are you really serious? So, um, I get out there, looks like there's a bus, huh. I think that's what that is, yeah, school bus. Um, so I get out there, I went back yesterday more, afternoon, got, went to the dude of the office, and at this point I'm, I'm annoyed, it's taken a week and a half to get, get into our freaking mailbox, you know, I'd like to have my mail. Um, so, I'm like, alright, I know you see me Friday, I know you just replaced the locks, but why don't we drive out to the mailbox and you take a look at it? Like, why don't you see my problem so you know I'm not crazy and can't operate a freaking key? Um, so we go out there, um, point out the mailbox, hand him the key. He couldn't get it open. And he's like punching and beating on the mailbox. Uh, and so they're supposed to put another request. And I think if I can, you know, we'll see if it's not fixed like day or tomorrow. We might take and do a phone walk out there one afternoon and see the broken mailbox and be annoyed at it. So, yeah. So that's my story for this morning. Um, trying to get up this premise. Um, if anyone has anything they want me to talk about, uh, I have to compile some ideas just because, you know, rambling is harder than it looks and I'm not a expert YouTuber, so, you know, coming off the cuff isn't always easy, uh, but with E3 and stuff going on, and then, you know, my day-to-day, -day, I can talk more about that, talk about some what's going on behind me, um, I, figure, I feel like we'll have plenty to talk about for a week. Alright guys, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the morning tomorrow. Bye guys. Good morning guys, it's Brent back here, and today at another early morning, uh, this is day two of these morning vlogs, not as successful this morning. Uh, did not get up nearly as early as I did yesterday and was not nearly as motivated to get out of bed But I'm still here. I've still managed to get up 
get my coffee, and be ready. Get all the computer on, get all that done. I think my main problem is, like last night, was uh, that I finished in here, cut the computer off at 11, which is not a bad time to go lay down. However, I went oh, I went and laid in bed and then watched, what was I watching right before bed? Oh, I, I watched Drawfee, which if you ever seen him, they're pretty funny. And somehow it was 12, 12, a little after 12 before I went to bed. So getting up at six, I was like, oh no. I mean, six hours of sleep isn't the worst. Anyway, um, things to talk about today. Oh, we were going to talk about uh, my what happened over the weekend. So, as part of moving out here, we didn't know anyone really. Um, so, uh, we wanted to do D and D again. So we did a on Reddit. I went and did. Yeah. Did a uh, looking for group. Uh, I made a post on there because uh, I figured you know finding a D and D group would be fun, so we can get back into doing some IRL D and D. But also uh, that you know gives an excuse to look for friends without just like going to bars or going to other random places and just meeting people randomly. So we made a post early last week. I don't remember exactly when. And as part of that. <sighs> yeah, we got a few people uh, actually a lot of couples like got back to us uh, so uh, we set a meeting with two other couples and we all hung out on Saturday we went to Your Pie which is a pizza place it was pretty good uh, you get your own personal pizza uh, it was not like ridiculously priced so it's pretty good and then what do we do from there we all sat there talked and such and then we went to Game Armory, which is just a, a little game shop, and we went and talked about D&D, what we were going to do, time, specifics, all that stuff. And then from that point, um, one of the couple we actually really clicked with, uh, so we spontaneously planned a trip to the zoo on Sunday, and that's what we did. We went to the zoo, it was like an hour, hour and a half away, so we all rode together, a lot of fun, got to know them a lot more. Um, but yeah, it was very spontaneous, which is weird for me and my wife. We're more of a planned kind of people. Like, let's plan this and go do it. Because it's just, you know, easier to work around. Because everyone's schedule together. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it did rain, which was kind of sad. But the animals are actually pretty active. I think we've seen every animal there besides the gray foxes. The gray foxes were, like, curled up and not a fan of people being there. But all the other ones are pretty active. Uh, it did rain in that we did get soaked at one point. Like it was a down, trenches downpour and I was standing, I was like wringing out my shirt and before, and then we went to the desert little section which tried to stop some. But it was a lot of fun, very spontaneous. They were really cool. Um, we're looking to hang out some more on the weekends. So the first kind of friends we made uh, was Jason and Shannon is her name. Uh, they both actually do stuff on Twitch. I'm going to see if I can get the information like for their Twitch so I can post it and you can go see how cool they are. Uh, they were doing a Final Fantasy raid the other day. So, but yep, that was kind of our weekend was just spontaneous zoo trip and then, you know, trying to make friends, you know, still, you know, getting used to the area, trying to be more accustomed to everything and meet people. But I think that'll do it for this morning. Uh, Try to keep these videos pretty short so I can edit and upload them before I go shower and get ready for work. Uh, I got a meeting this morning at 9.30, so I can't actually go in late. But guys, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, this is our second day, and I'm still here. Hopefully, I don't go down any farther. But guys, I hope you did enjoy. Hit the like button if you did. Comment with stuff you want me to talk about. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. It's Brent back here, and this is day three of our morning vlogs. As you can see, I'm actually kind of put together this morning. Oh, got the coffee over here. Uh, that's because I woke up so late this time that I had to start getting ready to make sure that I wasn't late for work. But I'm still recording because it only takes half an hour-ish to get all this done. So 
and I got exactly less than half an hour, so why not? I'm game for it. Uh, wife just left, so I had the area to myself to talk and mumble and record and be dumb as I want on camera. So, uh, the idea was to get up earlier because I'm recording, so I, I wanted to set the, side in the, the time aside in the morning to do that. Well, the night before, I just stayed up late because I'm dumb. Last night, the problem was our air conditioner, we have central AC, first time we've had it, um, in our new apartment. Well, I guess where, how to describe this, like an outside window unit will leak water. Uh, water was pulling up inside, I don't know if this is normal or not, and I could totally be wrong that this is a bad thing. It was like inside where the uh, air filter was. I don't know if it like the air conditioner for defrosting or, I don't know what it was. And I was trying to fix it until 12, 12.30 uh, before I just turned the air off and gave up for the day. Um, so that's why I didn't sleep, go to bed last night. But anyway, it's pretty normal. Um, I actually don't have nothing that interesting to talk about. I've been going through my day-to-day -day, uh, work as an engineer, uh, which my job is a, well, I'm an engineer, but I'm a CAD drafter. I do a lot of the CAD work for the structural tower mounts. So nothing really new and exciting. I haven't really done anything new in the afternoon. I did get an arm for my monitors, but now I have to get an adapter for that arm because my both my monitors, uh, the BenQ monitors, don't have like screw screw-ins for them. So I have to get an adapter to hold them. It's another thing I got to get. Um, can't get that until you get paid. How many works? Uh, but that might be the most exciting thing that's happened. Uh, we're still waiting on furniture. We've been in this apartment for almost two weeks. And uh, no, actually, it would have been two weeks Monday. So almost three weeks. Uh, and we're still missing part of our furniture. We don't have a couch. Uh, we don't have a dresser. Uh, we have a bed currently, but we're getting a new one because our other one was given to me when I was still living at home by my mom who had it before me. And she was given it to her by her dad's brother, who had it so many years before that. So it's a very well-worn mattress, and it will become our guest mattress. Um, but until then, we're sleeping on that, and we just bought a brand. Like, it's really sad when you spend a lot of money getting furniture and getting all this stuff, and you can't take it with you, because my truck is small. Uh, it's not like, it doesn't have a long bed, so it's hard to haul certain things. So yeah, we're still waiting on that. And the lovely people over at Ashley's, the guy was nice. I can't, you know, say any problems with him. Uh, he was very nice. However, the two to three, the one to two weeks lead time, it's totally BS. Uh, they said one to two weeks and it'll be about three weeks when it comes in. And we've also told them we, we, we are off on the weekends. That's when we want it shipped. Uh, and then, you know, I couldn't remember the dates that he said. So, as such, I was like, I'll send him an email, the guy who we worked with, and uh, he should be able to tell me. Uh, all of it, but one thing, are coming in June, like, 18th. I was like, you know, let me look at that day. Oh, it's a Tuesday. Why are you shipping it to my house Tuesday when no one's going to be here? So, I'm going to have to try to work from home Tuesday just so I can be here to let them in because I really don't want to assemble and put together all this stuff um, if I don't have to. Not that I couldn't, but we paid a lot of money for it. So as part of that, they put it together for you. Um, so there's that. And then one of them, we bought a coffee table. And it, it, he said, oh, it won't come in until 8-6. I'm like, wait a second. It's, it's June now. Or just barely June. I'm like... By 8-6, do you mean August 6th that it's not going to come in for two months? And he's like, yeah, like like very casually. And I'm like, dude, you're killing me. Like, why would I spend, why did I spend $500? Eh, probably not that much. I don't think the coffee table was that expensive. The couch was that expensive, but I don't think it was. Anyway, like $300 on a nice, like, pull-up coffee table and it not being for, you know, three months. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, it's kind of a tangent. I mean something to talk about. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be our morning vlog for today. Hope you did enjoy. Um, 
I actually feel a lot better doing this. I feel more awake after my shower. So I might switch it up to doing after I shower and put on my clothes for work. I might come in here and record my vlog. If you guys think I'm more energetic, because I feel more energetic, I just don't know if I actually am. Or if you'd rather see me like, like sleepy zombie. I don't know what face I just made. I couldn't see it. Um, then I can continue doing that if someone gives me some feedback. Um, also, I just I'm going to put up. I edited it yesterday. Uh, the new kind of test for the show uh, where we rolled stats, and then hopefully in the next day or two, I'm going to record. Uh, start doing some model work. Uh, I'm going to try it a little differently. I'm going to do like we did for the D&D &D thing and I want to do sketches by hand first and then I'm going to move those I might do a time lapse of time lapse of sketching and then I'm going to move those to the to do the model like we, we did do ha I have done before. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Uh, comment for stuff you'd like to hear me talk about and guys, I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Good morning guys, it's Brent back here. And today, I'm feeling sick. Um, I got up at my normal, well I tried to get up about 6.30ish, like I normally would do, and not felt good all morning, but I didn't really wanna go out and not make these, make this recording. Then I'm gonna work from home today. Um, I, once I get done here, get all this uploaded, like I would normally do, I'll probably email my manager and be like, hey, um, I'm gonna work from the house because that's something with my job that you can do. I don't know if you you should do it all the time. Uh, the guy who trades me usually works from home, but he's had a structural engineer there. He's been working on his house, so it's a little different. But they should have no problem with that. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully, I'm not getting sick. A lot of the guys in the office were sick, so that would not be fun. But hopefully, it's just a little bit of crud or didn't sleep well. You know, something easy that doesn't involve a trip to the doctor because currently I'm trying to think I don't have insurance to Walmart anymore because I don't work there I have to wait I think two months before I can get it through the company I'm at now um, and I think the insurance I have is through my dad because for some reason he never took me off his policy I don't know and I also don't have a doctor here yet so it's like a whole another like realm of stuff that I don't want to deal with yet um, but yeah uh, nothing exciting's happened um, tomorrow, today's Friday, so the week's about over, and then I will probably record all the way through Monday, uh, and that'll be the first, like, seven days of this. Actually, I might only do six. I think six and then having a day off and restarting on Monday, um, might be a little better. I was thinking if I did six, I could also do, like, a, a compilation at the end with, uh, each day and put them all together into, like, one video to record the week. So that's what I was thinking. I haven't got that far. Uh, we did put out the first episode of, I, I named it Stat Rolls. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the continuing name. I like the actual the art I made for it, which was just the dice. But I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, I am in the process of working uh, with another artist. I want to do some different thumbnails. Uh, I'm not a great like artist on a computer. Uh, I like to get better, but currently I'm not that good. Um, especially for the kind of art, art I really like. Uh, I can't do it. It's, uh, I like minimalist art. Uh, I think that's really cool. It's not like, it still looks really good, but it's not like, you know, as hyper realistic where you could have more chances of messing it up. So that's what I'm working with. I still got to get him some information and do all that for him uh, and see where it goes from there. But once I do that, uh, he has an art channel and I'll probably be putting his link in the description for the stuff he does and, you know, talking about some of the things he makes. So that'll be another thing that coming up but anyway guys I want to keep this one a little short uh, I gotta go get, find my laptop get a station set up I don't know if I'm gonna work over here or in the living room uh, my company decided that we're about to get a new client and as such they wanted us to be informed about the way they like to do stuff uh, and sent me about at, I was getting off of lunch at about two o'clock and they sent me 31 PDFs to read over uh, and so yesterday I spent some time just downloading them all and organizing them by the emails they sent because they sent six emails each with varying attachments and uh, now I'm going to go through each PDF uh, in a more quick like more like a little more detailed fashion where I 
We'll read some of it and organize it into different folders so I know what each thing is. And then I'll go into like high detail and compare the different files to each other to see, because there's like a final version you want that's like 40 pages long. Uh, so I want to see if some of the other stuff they sent goes into that final one or if that stuff is all from another location. So that's going to be you know, most of my day to day. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, uh, wish me some luck feeling better. Hopefully it'll last till tomorrow and not next week. I'm going to go find me some cold medicine and, you know, get to work. But anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. It's Brent here, and we are doing another morning vlog. Uh, we were trying to go for seven days straight, but then the weekend hit, and normally the goal is to put these out at 9 a.m. I'll record them at, like, between 6.30 and 8, I mean, 7.45-ish, between getting ready. Uh, but Saturday, I didn't wake up till 9 o'clock, and Sunday was even a little bit later. Um, so, we didn't get them out because I didn't want to put them out later. Just didn't feel correct um, with the spirit of what we're doing. So, I think the way it's going to go is I'll try to do these on weekdays. Um, it's pretty easy to, you know, since they're only pretty short, uh, it's pretty easy to get over here and get them done in the morning. I had some coffee here, so I drink it, but I think it's too hot. Um, and then the weekends will also give me more to talk about. Um, if you can't tell, I'm oriented a little differently. Um, not by much, but the camera's on top of my monitor now instead of over on my stand because we did D&D yesterday and we wanted to look at the map and interact with uh, people we're playing with. So my whole setup's a little fuffled. Um, I got to reorganize like the chair behind me. You can see there's another table over here. Um, I got to reorganize and get everything fixed up and I got a bunch of stuff edit to edit and do over the next couple of days in the afternoon. So I've been recording a lot of ARC. Well, I'm playing a lot of ARC. Uh, I finally found out like at what point enjoyment hits in in that game. Uh, once you get past, I don't know, like level 10 or 12, where you feel like you don't have to run from every single thing, just most things. Um, the game gets a lot more fun. I'll be posting another episode soon. I just recorded it. Um, but that's what I've been, I sunk a lot of time in over the weekend doing that. Uh, along with, uh, went and seen, uh, was Dark, Dark Phoenix, I think it is. And I was not very impressed. Um, for, uh, go ahead and say spoilers for, um, then I'll talk about some of the movie. Um, Things that like I didn't like about it was the villain. Uh, I didn't feel like he was very relatable. Well, not that they weren't relatable. It's just they weren't very well explained. They didn't really explain what their motives were, who they were, where they're from, uh, how any of their abilities work. They didn't give any of that like information you want. So you can either dislike the villain or you know have just a strong opinion about them. So you know when the heroes come and take them down. Uh, you're excited for it. They didn't have any of that. Um, the next complaint would be for um, <sighs> still wake up. For the movie was uh, they're bashing Charles a lot, and I understand why. You know, they made it very clear what the problem was, but it didn't make. It still didn't make a lot of sense that th there was so much of it. I think it was a little overdone, and then they went really heavy on the drama. I don't know if it's because, you know, they were wrapping up uh, these X-Men movies with this or what it might be, but yeah, it, it just wasn't as good as uh, we were hoping. I didn't have very high expectations for it, but my, my wife really likes X-Men, so she was the one who really wanted to go see it, and she was very disappointed in it, so, you know, keep that in mind. I would say, you know, it's all right to watch, but I wouldn't pay to go watch it in a theater, so... That's about it, but that's been about it. The weekend, the rest was like laying around at the house, you know, getting some of the basic stuff, dishes, laundry, all that kind of stuff done. Um, and then next week, depending on how it goes, oh, also, happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. It's, it's a day late, but you know, I still can, I called my dad since, you know, I live four hours away now and talk to him on Father's Day. Um, but what I was gonna say is this coming up weekend, we have, we're going to try, we'll see, um, Sunday, 
we have two campaigns that might be going on. Um, our new one with our friends, we're going to do a one shot with them. The ones we met last, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, um, to see how we all play together and make sure it's going to work before I pull out my big campaign and do all that. And then uh, in the afternoon, we're going to get back to normal campaign on Roll20. And the more we do it, the more we're getting accustomed to it. And the goal is that by the time we figure out how to do it all, we'll be good to uh, stream on Twitch for campaign two. Because we're at level 14 right now, um, currently. I don't know what's based on, there's a little like time difference between what comes out uh, on Google, like on the podcast versus what we actually are of about a few levels. Um, so currently you're level 14 and I think the campaign's supposed to go to 20. But we are leveling really quickly, so I could see us uh, being done with it in a few weeks, and hopefully by the next one we'll be doing the podcast and Twitch, which will be pretty fun. But anyways, guys, uh, that's all I got really to talk about this morning. Hopefully, I'll figure out what I'm talking about tomorrow. Maybe actually look at some news and do some more prep. Uh, I know E3 just went out, so hopefully I can come back and talk about some of that stuff and, you know have a discussion there but anyways guys hope you guys did enjoy um the streak was broken but we kind of i think i got a plan for how i'm going to do these in the future hope you guys did enjoy and see you guys next time bye guys good morning guys it is brent here and we are on to vlog number six in the morning um today as you can see i'm not like decked out in like a polo or anything um i'm not going into work today well i'm working from home today uh, my furniture is finally coming in. Uh, well, the ones that we ordered when we got down here. Like, we have some furniture, but, uh, the important stuff, uh, new bed, which is great, because ours, uh, the mattress is a thousand years old, so we got a uh, new frame and new bed, so, because ours right now is a platform bed, it's just a mattress on a platform, uh, no box spring, no nothing, so, it's really low to the ground, so we got one that should be higher up, um, be easy to get at, in and out of in the morning, uh, I'm not going to be like right on the ground. So pretty exciting. Uh, another exciting thing is a couch. As you can see, I have a computer chair uh, and so does my wife. And that's what we've been sitting in for like three weeks because um, we don't have a couch because we didn't bring our couch because my dad was like, hey, your grandpa would like the couch. And we're like, okay, well, sure, we'll get another one. Uh, but Ashley's furniture was like, hey, it's two to three weeks. Well, it's one to two weeks, and it's about three now. So, is what it is. And then we got a dresser coming. And then the coffee table, which, instead of coming today like everything else, is coming uh, in August. Yeah. So it's one of those weird things. But that's my goal for today, is I be here working until they call me between 10.30 and 1.30, which is a really long gap, which I really hate. Because I guess... If I knew, hey, I could be here at 10, I could go to work afterwards because I assume it's not going to take them long to come in and set it up. But between that time, by the time they get here and I am wait around all day, you know, I might as well just stay home. So that's what it is. I'm actually running fairly late comparatively. Like usually when I work from home, I try to start earlier so I can be done with eight hours earlier. But it's already 8.06 and I'll probably, I still got to edit this, so. Oh well. Um, so, nothing new, really exciting. Uh, I went to a Harris Teeter's yesterday, which I've never been to. It's a grocery store. Uh, it's actually a really nice grocery store. Um, and the prices were not actually that bad. I got enough groceries to do the rest of this week, besides a few, like, piddly things. Uh, I forgot some bread, and I forgot another item. I don't remember what it was. But, something that wasn't, like, super important. Uh, and I only spent, like, 80 bucks. Which is surprising because I can go to Walmart and spend 150 on about the same. Uh, so that's nice. They had some weird stuff. Some stuff was more expensive than other things. Uh, me and my wife were talking about trying to figure out the happy split of like, you know, we'll grab certain things from one place and certain places from the other. Like chips at Harris Teeter are like 350 when they were like a dollar something at Walmart. But you can get, you know, meat at Harris Teeter for like three bucks when at Walmart it's like five. You know, it's little differences like that, you know. I guess it's kind of penny pinching, but you know, if it's Walmart's right next to her work and Harris Teeter's next to mine, so 
why not, you know, split it up just a little bit for the stuff we know that's more expensive at one place. And same quality. I mean, juice is juice. Ground beef is ground beef to me. I mean, I can't really tell the difference. Um, so that was about the most exciting thing that happened yesterday. Um, oh, another thing that did happen is uh, we, I have my campaign coming up. And as part of that, we had to find a group. Uh, I told you about the two we met and went to the zoo with. Well, the other two, we were thinking about it talk to the other group and we were all talking and discussing and they just didn't fit us as well as we would have liked when we went and did our hangout so we probably informed them of that which I think they blocked us before we did which was interesting because we couldn't really get it out to them so we're st we'll actually be have to look for group but uh, one of the other of the two uh, she works uh, somewhere where there's a bunch of people who do like RPGs so she's going to see if, you know, maybe two of them are interested. If not, I have some more people on Reddit that uh, responded originally to the group thread. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe two of them, I can get back with them and, you know, work it out that way. Because for a group for D&D &D or something like that, you really want everyone to kind of click in that way, you know. Because they're going to be role-playing back and forth. You're going to be, you know, spending large amounts of time with them. So you really want everyone to kind of be on the same page and like the same mindset and you know actually enjoy spending four or five hours you know once a week with them so that's the status on that um, we're still supposed to be playing this weekend uh, I don't know if we will be I don't know if we'll be doing like another like group meetup or if we will try to you know throw a quick RPG because the goal was to do a, a one shot and then go into my campaign so we'll find out but that's gonna be it for today guys uh, not not very exciting vlog, but just don't have anything exciting happening, you know. It's hard to be like, yeah! I mean, hopefully, I think tomorrow I'm going to talk about E3 stuff. I think it's all done. Uh, compile a list of things that I found interesting. I've heard a few rumors, but I'm not, like, sat down and, like, looked up anything. I might check out, you know, something maybe like, uh, it's not the patch anymore. I don't remember. Whatever uh, Rooster Teeth does for gaming, I might check out that, or... Usually the RT podcast has some pretty good stuff, or I could just uh, Google it and you know look up some highlights from E3. Just give me an idea of what came out. You know if it, there's anything that I'm be dying to play. Uh, I've been playing Ark, so I'm like 17 games behind. I still haven't finished Bioshock or Borderlands. Like I need to sit down. Just Cause also I would like to finish, but I got to sit down and actually play them. So it is what it is. You can't you can't get to all of them and. Since I didn't have a PC or time originally, uh, made it hard to pick up all those games that were really good. So, I'll be playing through my backlog, but if there's something that I'm fine that looks really interesting, like I know I was watching Atomic Heart for a while, I don't think it came out yet, but I haven't really been paying attention to it. I did like a little talk about it at one point. Anyway guys, I'm rambling at this point. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, I think I'm going to compile the last six days into one. Uh, mega vlog as it would be and put that out soon so uh, be looking out for that if you had missed any of the other ones and would like just to watch them all at once they're only like five minutes a piece so you know half an hour to see everything put it at like 1.5 speed you could catch up really quickly anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys